One thing that I'm weary about is this. Now I already, I just had to pull over. I don't like how it's, how, how it's doing that. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Wavy. You already know this is my channel, Mr. Watch Your Beach. If you're new to the channel, you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the above. For anybody that's new to this video, or if, even if you're not new, do me a favor, let me get 400 likes on this joint. Appreciate it, thank you. And let me give a shout out to Varla for sending me the Varla Eagle One. I'm very excited to be doing a review on this. This is actually my second electric scooter. We're gonna get into why this scooter right here is probably my favorite, uh, especially for, for around here. And let me give a shout out to all my subscribers prior. I listened to y'all, yeah. <laughs> the reason I didn't have a good helmet with my other um, scooter was because I don't feel it goes fast enough and the only reason I used it was because on base you got to wear a helmet so right when I get on the base and right when I leave you know what I'm saying but anyway man ain't about that it's about this beast right here which I say is a beast I actually rode all the way over here from my block to the graffiti block those of you that don't know you're gonna see the whole travel but for my real viewers they already know the routes but we we got here very fast anyway in this joint out the box I didn't show the unboxing but uh it was fairly easy i don't think i had any issues this is what i do like about it baller was not playing around so fresh out the box you get this uh some, like a multi-tool or something hey they are not playing around you got your allen wrenches your flatheads you name it you know what i'm saying they, it, it comes with it so everything you need to set this scooter up now the handlebars they need to be set up but it's not that hard i suggest watch a few videos because it would explain to you how you really want your brakes and throttle position i was cool with the whole layout I, i'm cool with the accelerator being on um being on the right side i'm used to the whole thumb on um, press but they don't have that it's really a trigger squeeze at the top but on this ride over here i think i'm gonna adjust it a little bit more and speaking about adjusting you can also adjust the brakes and i'm talking about the strength on the brakes it's fresh stock the brakes might not be to your liking i have seen videos of people saying that they really give you a, a, a jerk and you don't want that but i don't think mine are responsive enough i mean i can handle it but i, I need a little bit more so there is a setting on that all you got to do is check your your guy so you got the squeeze right there the actual grips they are adjustable as well i do like these grips they're pretty comfortable for the ride the scooter right here actually comes with two keys i do like that as well i have a, a small son in the house i don't want him to be able to just learn how to hold this button and cut it on and just boom so one thing i'm gonna have to do is remember to take the key they do come with two keys so you don't have to uh, worry about losing it but make sure you keep an eye on these keys because uh you're not going anywhere without <laughs> without them clamps one of the most important features to me because this can really affect if you're going to wipe out or not you want to make sure that you clamp these two clamps in before you ride and make sure you got them tight you can actually tighten them up right here if you did want to take like a a, a wrench i go real lightly because you could end up stripping the grooves right here you don't want that i like the fact that these clamps are aluminum alloy instead of the plastic so you don't have to worry about anything snapping another scooter that i, I do own it's not metal it's plastic so one of my fears is if this go if it actually pops off uh you know that's gonna be bad i don't see this happening but Varla does have a bigger clamp that you can purchase online 10 inch pneumatic tires you have dual hydraulic brakes in the front and in the back as well as led lights in the front and in the rear one thing i like about the display is it has a trip odometer so you can kind of gauge the distance that you've been riding and it shows the battery life as well you got an eco mode, turbo mode, a single and a dual mode. I got to get kind of used to how the buttons are set up. The battery, you got a 52 volt, 18.2 lithium battery. It does come with two chargers. For a single charger, a full charge would take eight to nine hours. If you have two chargers, it's only going to take four to five hours. The deck is pretty wide, allowing you to place your feet pretty much wherever you want to. Back here, you got a little uh, spot for your foot. If you do want to like pop some wheelies or just want to rest your foot right there, but it's wide enough that you're not constricted to just two small areas. The waterproof rating is IP54 water proof rating i won't be messing with it in the uh in the rain at all that's too nah now my other joint yeah because it doesn't go go as fast as this but now nah, i won't really uh mess with this in the rain the front and in the rear does have splash guards just in case you are kind of riding in the rain your discretion you don't have to worry about any of the water splashing up on you one thing that i'm kind of weary about is the brake line on this you see that it touches the actual pole on here i don't know i can see it wearing after a while but not like nothing to be concerned about right away i might try to see if i can find like a protector for it now i'm very impressed with the springs it's almost like a mini trampoline or a spring boost or something you'll be finding yourself gonna hit all the bumps in the street if you wanted to the max it can handle is a 330 pound rider it recommends 265 back to the springs i did see that they was a they was adjustable if you didn't want it um too bouncy uh it would take me a little while to really um uh, start reading more up 
or watching more videos. Actually on a dirt bike, I never really messed with the springs in mine, but I do see myself riding this a lot in the summertime. If you haven't um, seen any of my past videos, make sure you check them out. I really ride around in the Bronx, um, Harlem, Washington Heights, uh, just trying to catch that scenery, you know? I might make my way down to Manhattan, ride all the way up one day, who knows? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go from first, second, and well, <laughs> I gotta make sure because I'm still in the Bronx. I don't really wanna put my camera down like that. I'm gonna go up here in turbo mode. I'm gonna go first mode second mode and then third mode i'm gonna show y'all how it moves speaking of the, of the modes on the odometer like i said you can change the settings on how fast uh how fast you want it to break or how responsive you want it to break you can change those settings uh just go to the back of your manual another thing i did see that you can um you could take off the speed limiter i don't know if i really want to do that because i'm cool i'm telling you like i'm i'm very cool with going like 25 to 30 right about now at least you know 30 uh, i just need to be the speed of traffic so i'm i'm good and just get up out of there but anyway man let's see uh let's see how this joint handles i'm in first gear we're gonna go to the bottom of the hill and go back up like i said welcome to the bronx i gotta make sure that nobody comes and snatches my uh my camera all right let's go let's see i'm at 30 i'm at 30 miles an hour mode number one I mean, I'm gonna walk somebody down, they try to grab my uh, camera. But if they jump the fence, I mess up. Starting at zero, boom. Uh, let me make sure, hold up, brother. 34. Woo! Man, I, I, yo, I hit 42. I'm going kilometers per hour. No wonder. All right, so this third gear. Watch me catch him. Uh, 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 about 42 again. I think on a long flat surface though, I, I could have hit that. Uh, I could hit that 50. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We went here. Hey, before I get up out of here again, don't forget to use my link in the video description below. I'd like to shout out to Varla for sending me this Varla Eagle One. I'm gonna really be doing my thing this summer, man. Summer just got a whole lot brighter. Word. Any other questions, you can go to their YouTube page. They're pretty on point with anything that you need. Just like right now, I didn't know about the miles per hour, kilometers. That's something that I, I just, I don't, I didn't think about. But you go on the, um, you go on the page. They show how to um, do this. It's all with the modes gonna change change the most but make sure you watch and be careful that you're not changing something that you shouldn't be changing it says that it can get 40 miles on a full charge i've been hearing 20 to 25 because i'm not going to eco mode no, no 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 so that's not gonna that's not gonna work for me so the good thing about this scooter is there's a lot of clearance so you don't have to worry about getting caught up on the curb enough of that let me show you all the ride out here i'm gonna get y'all out of here but i promise you this I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these videos on this scooter right here. Like I said, this is my second scooter. This scooter is gonna be for the streets. That scooter is gonna be for work. The weight of this scooter is 77 pounds, but I'm not carrying the scooter. No, 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 no. And I doubt that it'll fit in my in, in my Jetta. I don't know. I've had probably had to put the seats down, but I'm not gonna risk it because I'm not gonna let anybody steal my steal my scooter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really worried about that. But one thing that I can't say on. Um, about the 77 pounds, this is the reason why I didn't do this video yesterday, was my elevator was busted and I'm not carrying this joint up and down the stairs. But anyway, man, check out the ride right quick and I'm gonna get y'all out of here. All right, so riding this joint, might as well do some talking. Yo, the torque is crazy on here, for real. And I'm only on uh, level one. I'm gonna I'm highlight that again in the video or before. I'm only on level one and the torque is great. I was on level two, but I said, no, 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 no. Level one, it, it at least gets you up to, look, uh, I'm going about 25 miles an hour. That's speed limit here. Once I get more comfortable, I'll, pro I'll probably end up going um, level two, but I don't see myself really having to rock with level three unless I really have a need, you know? Even though I'm gonna uh, definitely go on level three. I love how it um, accelerates though, man, for real. This, this will really get you out of any tight jams or you know, you really need to take off, you need to get out the way or something, you're good. You're in the wrong neighborhood, you know, eh. <laughs> Word.
I'm going up Claremont. They go Third Ave right there. Huh. Oh, and it's also great on these uh, on these uneven streets, uneven uneven pavement. Oh, no problem. And I'm loving the suspension. It makes for a real smooth ride. So I'm gonna take y'all through Claremont Park on the just on the outskirts of it. I've never been up here before. I always pass by it, but now we're gonna roll through just to keep keep it safe, you know. Uh, ain't, ain't no reason for me to be on, on the side of the street. This is where the bell comes in handy. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, let's let's switch modes. Boom. Let's go to mode two. Bam. Going up the hill. Uh, I'm going up the hill. 23 miles an hour. Hey man, this is the new wave for the summertime. I ain't even going. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, you good? Uh, so I'm in. I'm on level two right now. Uh, oh, which way do I go? Oh, I could beat him. Uh, always make sure you maintain safety. Know what you're doing. You know. But I feel comfortable already. That's why I switched out to the second mode. I might let me let me hit three right quick. Uh. <laughs> I might not be on turbo. Let's see. Oh, I wasn't on turbo. Oh snap. Yo, I wasn't on turbo. That's crazy. So I'm on level three. I might I'm I'm a, I'm gonna tone it down though. Let me go back to let me go to mode mode. You can switch with mode right here. Go back to first gear and I'm on turbo dual. Let's see. Oh yeah, I definitely tell the difference. All right, we already at 30. Bro, you know what I'm saying? What else do you need? All right, boom, Boston Road, take a left, and we, um, y'all already know we head to the graffiti block. Uh, make sure y'all be careful out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't just, just cause you see me doing my thing. I'm a professional, been doing this for like five minutes. <laughs> I'd rather be on the sidewalk though, man. Make sure I'm maintaining my distance between the cars and the cars on the side. There's a lot going on out here. The braking is okay. They do have different levels for, for braking. They're all in the settings in your manual. You can check that out. Uh, boy, that level one on turbo, yo, this is crazy. Man. This ain't no boring scooter right here. See? What's up? Yep. Saying, you gotta make sure be on your P's and Q's out here, brother. Uh, uh, that's a busy block up there, so I'm gonna go down this way. Probably even more busier, but we'll go down this way. Oh, matter of fact, since I'm on a scooter, I don't even have to obey the driving the driving route. All right, so this is one easy way to the um to the graffiti block right here, just cutting all the way through. You can't do it if you're um you can't do this if you're uh if you're driving. You have to like keep going down Boston Road. We ain't got time for all that. That's why the ease of use and like getting the one um getting from point A to point B is great on these things. You hear me? It don't matter if you got the fastest. It probably matters if you have the slowest. But hey, convenience. You know what I'm saying? Travel convenience. Look at me bouncing. Uh, real springy on the uh, on the suspension. Uh, let me get out his way. Go ahead, brother. Acceleration up the hills, not a problem. So if you guys follow my channel, you know where we're at right about now. We're at the graffiti block for anybody who doesn't. This is 174 and Boone Ave, one of my favorite blocks. If I ever need to take a photo, I come to this block right here and pick a mural. <laughs> Word. Yo, I hope y'all enjoyed the ride out here. Like I said, this is a graffiti block. I'm always out here if you want to see more videos. Feel free to um, subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. And you know, I'm up here like at least once a week. Probably gonna go the long way back to the crib. Uh, I might as well uh, record that too. But um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be 
get more footage out, out of this. Shout out to Varla again. Use my link in the video description below. Subscribe to them on their YouTube channel if you want to know about any kind of specs or anything you need to know, go to their YouTube channel. Oh, another thing about the grip tape. It comes with three different grip tapes. I went ahead and just went with the one that was on here. It reminds me of graffiti, hence. <laughs> but anyway, man, I'm about to get up out of here. Shout out to everybody that's been liking, commenting, all that. And shout out to any of the new subscribers from this video. Thank you, Varla, and I'm out. Going up steep hills, no issue. Check this out. Uh. Level two, mode two, 19 miles an hour. Uh, trampoline mode. <laughs> now, one thing that I'm weary about is this. Now, I already, I just had to pull over. I don't like how it's, how, how it's doing that. So maybe, uh, this joint is tight. I mean, it's not going anywhere, but ah. Uh, okay, I fixed it. So it was up here, the clamp. I really need to bring it back lower. That's what it was. So it's not the, okay. I was like, damn. User mistake. <laughs>